my name is Carrie and this is Cooking with Carrie. And today I'm going to show you how to make a soup from our book Hungry for Health, which you can find on our website at beatcancer.org. Um, today we're going to make carrot avocado soup. Um, this soup is really easy and it's good for winter or summer. Uh, I'm going to make it the cold way right now, but you can heat it up and eat it warm if you like. Um, it's pretty simple. We're going to start out with um, two cups of carrot juice. And this is organic carrot juice. I don't have a juicer, so I buy mine. I try to make sure that the juice that I buy is um, is only carrots and water, and sometimes they put a little bit of lemon juice in there to keep it from um, changing color a little bit. So this is organic and only has carrot juice and a little bit of lemon juice, so that's perfect. So we're going to start with two cups carrot juice. And carrot juice is really high in beta carotene. And the reason why we need beta carotene is because our bodies turn beta carotene into vitamin A, which is a great, which our bodies need for um, skin and um, eyesight. And it's also a great antioxidant. Okay, so then we're going to put in two avocados. And I don't know about you, but sometimes I... I buy too many avocados and they turn a little bit brown. This would be a great time to use avocados that are just maybe a little bit past their you know life, not as pretty to serve in a uh, in a guacamole or something because you're not going to see them. Avocados um, are really great in soups and smoothies. Also, they add um, a real richness and a silky texture to things. It's almost like adding cream uh, in a way because it's um, of the texture that it adds to it and the thickness that it brings. I'm going to grab a spoon. I think I've said this before. I like to use my grapefruit spoons when I um, am scooping out avocado. Just gets everything right down to the feel. Okay. okay, now we need two teaspoons of lemon. Let's see. Okay, after the lemon juice, uh, we're going to put a little bit of um, vanilla in there. About a half a teaspoon. You, know, you can make your own vanilla um, with a vodka and you just put vanilla beans in there and then you let it set in a dark place, cool place for a couple of months. Keep, um, oops, a little too much. Mix, you know, keep shaking it a little bit and you make it your own vanilla. It's delicious. A friend of mine gave me that idea. Okay, let's see what's next. Uh, we have a half a teaspoon of cumin. And then we'll season that with salt as soon as we blend it. Oh, you know what? I forgot the apple juice. Get that. That puts a little bit of sweetness in there as well. And this again is just apple juice and a little bit of um, lemon juice. So let's see. For apple juice, we just need a quarter cup. Okay. 
Mm. Delicious. It's a little bit of salt. And the avocado really adds a thickness and a creaminess to it that I think you're really going to like. It's a great way to get your carrots in there. And it really doesn't have a strong, overpowering taste. Either. Okay. Okay, so from here, you can pour it directly into the bowl and serve. You can heat this up and eat it warm if you like, like today. Actually, it's a really cold day. And I don't want to sit around and eat 10 carrots, which is basically what you get out of two cups of carrot juice if I was to eat this entire thing. But I don't want to sometimes eat even one cold carrot, you know. Um, and this is a great way to get that beta carotene in your vegetables and a little bit more of an appetizing one. So I just pour directly into the bowl, and then I like to top these with um, sprouts. And I have broccoli sprouts here, and they're kind of fun. You know, they make a nice presentation. Um, also, um, allspice is kind of a nice little topper. You can sprinkle that on there. It's kind of hard to get on there without putting a big dollop, so I usually put it in my hand and then just kind of sprinkle on top. And then that's it, and that's a really nice appetizer, like if you're having lunch outside or even lunch on the go, you can make this in the, you know, in the, on a Monday and have it throughout the week. And it really is good. I think you're going to enjoy it. And here you go. Enjoy. <laughs>